Alrighty, Cancers, so this is going to be a reading for Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we're going to jump straight into it, guys. We're going to do a singles portion, and then we're going to go ahead and do a taken portion where we're going to see the energy surrounding all of my Cancers. Also, if you'd like to get a personal reading, all of my information for booking me will be in the description box for you to go ahead and purchase your own personal reading. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com where you can go ahead and book your session. You can take advantage of the Valentine's Day special that will be 2222 until the 15th. So if that is something that you're interested in, whether you're single or taken, make sure you do so before the 15th because after that... It will be removed from the site. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do our singles first. And see the energies. What's going on with my single cancers for Valentine's Day? Please give me a four card today. Okay, so how can they attract their true partner? What do they still need to work on to attract their true partner? The possible partner coming in. And the guidance for my single cancers. And let's pull a romance angel card. What is the guidance for my cancers for Valentine's Day? Or their love life, excuse me. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully you guys can see the cards. So the first set of cards is going to represent how you guys can attract a true partner into your love life, okay? And the energy we have there symbolizing that, we do have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups, right? So how you guys can attract a true partner, I really feel like you guys do need to come out of your head. Like some of you guys may be in a space of feeling as if you can't control the circumstances of your situation, or you may feel as if like your hands are tied and you don't really know what to do. But I feel like you guys do need to make sure that you're sifting through this uh, confusion, especially if you do have a lot of options, you do need to look at, okay, which ones are tangible connections, something where I can actually get growth or where there's just illusions of you actually having the opportunity to get growth within those connections here. Okay. But what I am seeing for the Things that you do need to work on within yourself to actually get the love that you're looking for. We do have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Four of Wands energy. So I feel like you guys do need to end a cycle within yourself that's keeping you from really stepping into this twin flame energy. You meeting your twin flame. You actually building a concrete relationship. Some of you guys, like, you may need to also finally come to your wit's end within a situation where you mentally just been racking your brain about this person. And just you need to mentally just say, look, I'm done. And now focusing on your sense of stability or connections again that are bringing some sort of stable energy like both of you guys are bringing something to the table but um what i am seeing for the possible partner that may be coming in for you overall um also for some of you guys like focusing on your stability overall is gonna help you bring in love but what i am seeing for the possible partner that may be coming in i do feel like there is going to be some sort of turn of events here um but again if you're still stuck in the past you're not going to be able to see the universe's um gift to you okay clarifying that again we do have the two of swords so it's like you guys still like being kind of blocked on what to do between your emotions and your mind so i feel like you guys do need to shift out of this energy first because yeah some of you guys are dissatisfied with some things but you're still not like moving forward to get this level of abundance 
But what I am seeing for the guidance, we do have the King of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Swords. So I really do feel like you guys do need to take action towards cutting some people off who are not stable or um, cutting some things out of your life that may not be giving you that stable energy as well as um, actually taking action to get a commitment with this as well. Like actually taking action towards what you want overall so that you can get it. And the guidance for you guys, we do have to stay optimistic about your love life and romantic feelings. So making sure that you guys are staying optimistic overall when it comes to your connections and that you're not just thinking that the worst case scenario is going to happen and just being in a space of like, okay, um, just worrying and just doubtful overall. Make sure you're just, you're allowing the connection to flow. Because some of you guys, you actually have to give to the connection to see whether or not it's going to be prosperous. So keep that in mind if there is one that does come into fruition here. All right. So let's go ahead and get into my taking cancers. What's the energy surrounding my taking cancers for Valentine's Day? Whoa. So I feel like some of you guys may feel like you wasted your time with the situation and you may be trying to come out of your head about it. This may be with the earth sign, air sign, whoever. But um, what is the possible Valentine for my taken cancers? Uh, the cancers cross watchers feelings for them. The energy surrounding the connection. What the hell's been going on? Um, and the guidance. So the energies have been funky for every sign. So don't be alarmed, guys. Let's talk about this. And give me a romance angel card as well for the energy or the guidance when it comes to their connections for Valentine's Day for my cancers. What's the guidance? And we have, okay, get to know each other. Clarifying that we do have worth waiting for. So overall, I feel like you guys do need to make sure that you are, like the card is saying, getting to know your person more, or as you're getting to know this person more, you're going to start to realize some things about this person that either you can get down with or you can't get down with, okay? Um, divine timing is going to let you really see who this person is. So be willing to kind of see how this person is. Let them unfold in front of you, all right? And through that, you'll see whether or not you do need to continue to give this relationship a chance overall. But um, what I am seeing for the possible Valentine that you guys are going to be dealing with for Valentine's Day, um, I do have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this may be somebody where the connection has not ended, but somebody's not being truthful or somebody's not either wanting to communicate or what, okay? Also, this may be like a resurrected relationship where somebody's not being truthful, okay? And there could be issues with you guys taking a leap of faith um, within this. This could be an Aries, air sign, like I said, but issues with you taking that leap of faith. Or some of you guys could be feeling foolish because, again, you could feel as if this person's lying to you and there's issues with that. Especially if you were trying to go towards this person for a commitment, you feel as if this person's not offering much. Especially if you are dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody who's not balanced, but um, what I am seeing for their feelings for you, we do have the Empress in reverse clarified by the Hierophant. So they feel like there's a lack of growth between you two. Like they feel like um, they want to be in a connection with you. They want to be committed to you, but they feel like nothing's growing. Like you guys aren't growing. Um, hold on, guys. A card fell. We have the moon card. So they feel as if you may be keeping some sort of secrets or you're not telling this person 100% of what's going on or they could be in a state of fear. But this person feels like there's just not growth or there's no growth being um, experienced within this relationship overall for some reason. But um, what I am seeing for the energy surrounding the connection, we do have the tower clarified by the four of pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody, um, still like, okay, this is like a shakeup within the connection here or some sort of shocking truth that comes out that is causing someone to release someone else. Okay. Um, this could be, what is this tower? 
What is this tower moment? Clarifying that, we have the moon card. So it's not telling me what this tower moment is, but it's some sort of secret or some sort of hidden information that causes somebody to release them. Or you guys um, feel as if this situation is not concrete and you release this person for some reason, all right? Yeah, bottom of the deck. So leaving this connection stagnant, all right? And maybe needing to see things from a different perspective. But um, what I am seeing for the guidance for you guys, for my cancers, um, you do need to make sure, because we do have the Two of Cups and the Judgment in reverse. So some of you guys, you need to decide that it's time for you to get out of this relationship, especially if it's not stable. Especially with these cards coming out straight like this, this is not something I could have made up, okay? You guys are seeing the cards. If you're dealing with a connection that's unstable, you need to make a decision that, okay, it's done, all right? Leave it where it's at. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that I was able to bring some sort of clarity. If this re if this reading resonated with you, please make sure you like it and also comment below. I do read the comments and make sure you get your own personal reading. Again, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com and I will see you beautiful cancers later. Bye guys.